A simple gesture after what's become a routine American tragedy. A mass shooting this time at a grocery store. Look, there's... Holy sh Ten people gunned down, including police officer Eric Talley, the first to respond to the attack. They had family and friends, loves and passions and dreams of tomorrows that will no longer come for them. Erica Mahoney lost her father, Kevin. She's pregnant with a grandchild he'll never meet. Those who escaped still reeling. It's harder than it was yesterday just thinking about the friends that I lost. A 21-year-old suspect is in custody. Court documents show Ahmad Alyssa bought an assault rifle just six days before the attack. At the White House, flags lowered for a second time in just days. The country still mourning the eight people killed in Atlanta a week ago. President Joe Biden issued a familiar call for tougher gun laws. This is not and should not be a partisan issue. This is an American issue. It will save lives, American lives, and we have to act. But gun control is one of the most partisan issues. Action remains unlikely. Today, the Senate Judiciary Committee held a previously scheduled hearing on gun violence. Democrats propose taking away guns from law-abiding citizens. But what they propose, not only does it not reduce crime, it makes it worse. Thoughts and prayers are not enough. And yet, thoughts and prayers is all we have heard from my colleagues on the other side. It's not okay that we don't have better gun control laws. Stephen McHugh's granddaughters survived the attack by hiding in a storage closet before being rescued by police. This has got to stop. For now, Boulder mourns and so many wonder where next. So Ellen, you know, yes, we know the Democrats want tougher gun laws and yes, they're in control of Congress and the White House, but, but obviously this is not a done deal. No, Adrian, and that's because of the filibuster. Under current rules, essentially, the Senate needs a super majority to pass most legislation. That means 60 votes, and that means convincing at least 10 Republican senators. And the math just isn't there, as it hasn't been in the past. Remember those shootings in Parkland, Florida, and at Sandy Hook Elementary School in 2012. Kids and teens gunned down in their classrooms, and Congress did not pass gun control reform in response. The White House says President Biden is considering what he can do on his own instead through executive orders. All right. Thank you, Ellen. The CBC's Ellen Morrow in Washington tonight.